Hello everybody. Last year I fixed up three Razor electric scooters that were in various states of disrepair, where each scooter had their own unique problems to solve. The last scooter that I fixed was a Razor E300 that had had some previous mods, aka a big motor. And what I did was wired in an automotive relay instead of the standard speed controller. Initially I thought this worked a treat, as the big motor really ran well. However, it soon became apparent that the current draw was so much that it simply was too much for the batteries as they got super hot and basically self-destructed after one or two rides. So I know it's been a while, however I finally got around to buying a variable speed throttle and a 500 watt speed controller and I'm going to fit these to my Razer E300. So we don't destroy uh, any more batteries. I'll put a link into it of where I got this from. We can see we got this uh, 500 watt 24 volt speed controller. But the best part about this is, hopefully this twist roller, as you can see, I haven't opened this yet, so opening it up now for the first time. Can't even get it undone. Packaging's that good. Look at that, keys, everything, twist speed controller, brilliant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that speed controller in, this speed controller in and hooked up, this twist throttle on the Raze E300, put a fresh set of batteries in, and let's see how this goes with that 500 watt motor. So the first thing we've got to do, get this old Razer switch off, I'm not gonna call it a throttle, it's cause it is just a switch, it's just on off. So get an Allen key in there, and twist that off. Oh, it's a bit tight, here we go. Excellent. And guessing that just pulls off. Yep, get the old twist grip off there. Get that off, junk off. Fantastic. And let's get this new twist throttle on. Just chuck that on. Slide on over the end. And I reckon we just line that up about Line up about like that. So we're riding, arch it back like that. Yeah, I reckon that'll be. Yeah, I reckon that'll be perfect like that. So this is probably got an Allen key on it as well. Let's have a look. Oh, yep, Allen key under here. So let's just get the Allen key in there. There we go. Do that nice and tight. Excellent. This has even got a charging port, this speed controller. However, you can see the polarity is right around the wrong way. So I'm gonna try and get a, a small pin because I reckon with a small pin, we can change those pins around on the connector. Here we go. I've just got a small, small little screwdriver here. And with the screwdriver, hopefully we'll be able to get these pins out. Here goes the first one. Let's see if we can get the second one out as well. There we go. Now if we swap them around the other way, it should be perfect for the polarity of this charger. Just pop that in there like that. Perfect. Now let's see if we can plug that in. We can even hook up the charging port, fantastic. Brake light, nah. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. What we need is to work out what we hook up to the to the throttle that's gone through. We can get rid of this old junk in here. Don't want any of that. The old relay setup going down to the motor. So let's get rid of that. No instructions with this, of course. So we'll have to work out what we're doing here. All right. So we got a bunch of wires coming in. 
yellow, blue, red, green. There's not really much indication, so it's all in Chinese. But go do a bit of research. All right, folks, jumped on the internet and found a wiring diagram for the Banggood 24 volt, 500 watt motorcycle brush speed controller and scooter throttle twist grips. So what do we got? We got battery, thick black, thick red. So thick black, thick red, that'll go to the battery. We've got motor, thick yellow, thick blue. We've got thick, thick, thick yellow, motor negative. So once again, like I did we saw with that um, that charging port, thick yellow should be going to thick black. So I'm gonna have to change those around. So I'll get my screwdriver and see if I can pop those out and change those around. I'm actually quite surprised that, it, you know, out of the box it's not better labelled. Um, and I'm surprised that it doesn't actually have connectors on the throttle that actually match the speed controller. But anyway, such is life. Um, didn't take long to do a bit of research. So really on the throttle, I just want to show you here, we've got three thinner wires. The uh, red, black and green. Obviously we've got positive, negative, and then you've actually got the... Um, variable uh, input that will go down to the speed controller, the green wire. And then we've got uh, the yellow and the blue. They're slightly thicker wire. And what they are, they're actually for the key. For the key, the on off for the key. So we'll start with these three smaller ones, which is actually the speed controller. Now they connect down onto this connector here, which has got the uh, positive, negative, and the blue. The control, so we simply connect up the um, positive, the negative, and then the control, we've got the green from the throttle going to the blue on the speed controller. Now we've got the on off switch, and all that does is close the circuit. And that comes down to this connector which has no label, but it's the red and the blue on the speed controller. Um, as you can see, we've got the bullet style connectors from the throttle and we've got this other connector so I'm actually just cut those off temporarily just to, just to test it I don't have any connectors to use and they're different connectors anyway What I'll probably do is solder them up, to be honest. But I don't intend to pull it apart once it's actually together. Got. Two uh, throttle inputs. We've got the switch. Now the other one whilst I was researching was also the uh, brake switch that comes from the uh, brake lever. We could actually hook up to the black and the yellow to the uh, red and the black. It's a different style connector. For now, I'm more interested in see if we can get this speed controller actually running, so I'm, I can't really be bothered hooking that up. What that does is it kills the power to the rear wheel when you pull the brake lever. So we'll probably hook it up later on. But let's first of all see if we can get this speed controller working.
now really for the moment of the truth. That's gonna work, that's good folks. How's that with the variable throttle? How's that with the variable throttle? 